So you're thinking about moving to Seattle? Well, you've come on a good night. I am here with one of my favorite humans on the planet, Shami, and we are gonna discuss all things about living in Seattle, and we're gonna get to it right now. So here we are, I am hanging out with Shami. We are in, what neighborhood would you call this? Um, this is Lake City, Lake North City, of Seattle. Okay, and we'll give give you more information about that in just a second. But I'm Rob. I'm a real estate broker here in Seattle, and I talk to people every day looking to make a move, whether it's across town, across the country, or around the world. Whether it's next week, next month, or even next year, and I love helping people find their either for now home or their forever home. So check out my uh, information in the description below, and I'm and shoot me an email. Uh, send me a text or give me a call and I'm happy to help you uh, find your next home. But for now, I'm here with one of my favorite people, like I said before, <laughs> and we're gonna have some fun. We hope you have some fun too and we hope you also find it informative. So, Shami, without further ado, tell them, <laughs> <laughs> tell all our new friends who you are. Um, all right, my name is Shami and I have lived in the Seattle area for about 23 years. I'm originally from Zimbabwe, um, and I would say Seattle is my home away from home. I've lived here longer than I did in Zimbabwe, but I am what I would say um, a Seattle person now. This is home. This is home. This is home. This is home. I yep. love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what 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 makes you feel what makes it feel like home to you? Oh gosh, um, the fact that people talk about Seattle, saying that uh, you know Seattle rains all the time and all mm -hmm. these things, where to me. Seattle's just home. The rain is perfect because we have beautiful summers because of that rain. So we have amazing summers. We do. We really do. Like I just, I think Seattle's just home. My family are all in the area, and uh, yeah, that's just home for me. Yeah, and and I was saying to somebody yesterday is that a lot, a, uh, most of the time in this year we, we have the clouds, we have the rain, and everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but this is a great couch. I could like curl up here and be in here for days because it's like cuddle up and hang out on the couch weather. But you gotta seize the day, right? Yep. You gotta put your rain gear on and get out there and just enjoy, even when it's raining, this place is so beautiful. Wouldn't you agree? 100%, 100%, yep. Yep, just don't let it get you down. Otherwise you're never gonna leave your couch. Yep. Just get a Which, good light. And if you're okay with that, <laughs> by all means, stay on your couch. But you are missing a awesome city and an awesome place to live. Um, so we're in Lake City, right? And you were, by, how long have you been in this home? Um, almost four years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So during that buying process, how did you choose Lake City? So I wanted something that was really central. Um, I have a lot of family. My mom lives about a mile away um, on the opposite side of the freeway. My sister's down south, my brother's on the east side. So I wanted something that was central. And also I wanted to be able to commute to work every day um, where my first place was north of Seattle, way north of Seattle. And uh, I just really wanted to get closer to work and not have to be in traffic all day. Yeah, so what's your commute, about 20 minutes, you about said? 20 minutes, yep. So um, for those of you who don't know, Shami and I met when I, we well, you still work there, I don't anymore. <laughs> right. But we worked at Starbucks together mm -hmm. and we became, Instant friends, uh, right? Yeah, like, 100%. you're my people. Yeah, you are my people. And uh, <laughs> I am so excited to say that my dear friend got a promotion. She is now director of recruiting for US Retail, right? So yep. she's hiring all those great baristas that make your very complicated drinks. <laughs> exactly. So I am so proud of you. Thank and you. we will be toasting after this video. Um, so cheers to you. Thank you. And they finally are smart over at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. You know, we were talking before. So Starbucks headquarters is in uh, an area called Soto or South Downtown. Mm -hmm. And it takes you about 20 minutes to get there, mm -hmm. right? Um, and pre-pandemic, I remember, I was telling the, the last uh, group, um, last group, the last uh, interview I did was, I, it took me four years to get in the parking garage. Oh, parking yeah. is, a thing in, C in Seattle, it right? Is. It's uh -huh. a challenge. It is, it is. And um, I would say the pandemic actually helped because they opened up our garages at work. And so uh, we don't have to worry as much about parking anymore. So, so wait, so wait, wait, wait. wait. It's <laughs> yeah. a, I was on a waiting list for four years. You were. Now you were. anybody can go anybody in the garage. Anybody can go wow. into the garage. You have to book it in advance, but okay. you can get into the garage okay. and uh, you pay. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's great. <laughs> so I need to also introduce you to um, 
Kariba um, <laughs> is here in the background, and they often say you should never share a stage with children or animals. <laughs> right. So we are tempting fate here tonight. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> but we couldn't have a, a better uh, companion here. Going back to the buying of your home, right? Uh -huh. The the houses in this neighborhood, it's a bit of a mixed bag. It is. You've got, you know, as I drove down this, you've got a lot of new construction going up where they presumably tore down some homes. A lot. Mm -hmm. um, I would call your house a bungalow. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and there's lots of similar styles. What year was this house built? 1951. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's been updated. We were talking about her bathroom. It looks yep. great. Um, <laughs> parts of it. Parts of it. <laughs> right. Still working on it. So. <laughs> Uh, so it's a bit of a mixed mixed bag in the neighborhood up it and is. down. Mm -hmm. um, and um, what else about the neighborhood? So from my place, within about a ten minute walk, you have views of Lake Washington. Okay. And uh, my dream retirement home would be overlooking Lake Washington at some point. Okay. So I feel like I'm just getting closer, inching closer and closer. Um, so I love that. There's a lot of like uh, when I walk the dog, just. The neighborhood is great. People are so lovely and kind and say hi um, to my little dog that barks at them. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I just think there's a lot of walkability in within the neighborhood. Um, and it, it's really safe, I would say, in my opinion. Um, so I don't feel afraid being, you know, alone in this house. Well, I think that's a, that's a concern a lot of people may be watching this video is like, is Seattle a safe city? I personally have never felt unsafe um walking around downtown or on the, wherever mm -hmm. but you know everybody comes from that as a different perspective so as mm -hmm. a woman in the city you feel like you know you're you're just super safe i do and you know i'd say more so as a woman and a person of color it was very important to me as i looked at different neighborhoods that i felt welcomed and that i felt safe mm -hmm. um and uh, when i moved in the neighbors immediately came over and introduced themselves to me, and I did a bit of that too. But uh, I've always felt that there's there's always somebody looking out. So you know, hey, you got a package on your front door. Do you want nice. to pick it up for you? So it's just a, uh, I would say, I found a community within the Lake City neighborhood as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did you consider other communities when you were looking or was this like the target? I did. I knew I wanted to get closer to work. I knew I didn't want a super long commute. My commute was taking me about an hour and a half from Mont Lake Terrace um, because of the Everett kind of compression into the Seattle area. And I'll give you context on a map of where Mount Lake Terrace is, where Lake City is, and uh -huh. where Seattle is. Mm -hmm. And so I did look at a number of neighborhoods, uh, but I knew I wanted to be within really close distance to the freeway okay. um, to have easy access to getting onto the freeway and also I didn't want to be far enough that it would you know again the amount of time sitting in the mm -hmm. car um, was really important to me so I looked at a number of neighborhoods um, I am really lucky I have an amazing realtor um, and uh, who happens she to be use, a she didn't use <laughs> I did it, but you weren't a realtor then. So if now, but you know, she's amazing too. Um, but we saw a ton of places. I knew I really wanted a backyard. Um, okay. That was really important to me. I wanted some outdoor space. I love gardening. Um, and most of the uh, houses in the neighborhood, although the houses are small, the lots are a good size. So I'm on 8,000 square feet. So I knew that I wanted to garden. I wanted outdoor space. I wanted to be able to have barbecues with my friends in the summer. Yep. Um, and so that was really important. So as we looked at places, there were lots of places that were probably the same size house, but really small lots. And so that was what this made me, made the differentiation yeah. um, in living in this neighborhood. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. And congrats on that. Thank you. So shifting gears a little bit, think about, you know, we talked a little bit about before turning on the camera about what we do with people when we, you know, visitors from out of town. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite touristy thing to do? Oh man. So I, I have this down because uh, I don't want to do the hardcore touristy stuff. I have like the um, almost like a cheaper version, okay. <laughs> more economical version of touristy. Tourist so, on a budget. Exactly. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> perfect words. Okay. So I love to go down to the waterfront to Pike Place Market and uh, take the ferry to Bainbridge Island. It's about love a 30 it. minute ferry ride and it's about six dollars a person if you do the walk on yep. to the ferry uh on the other side it's walking distance to restaurants totally. um and i love that that because people get to see the whole of seattle you get to see downtown seattle west seattle oh, um and it's just super easy and, and be beautiful beautiful yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then to your point just when you get there you walk off the ferry and you're right it's it's a stone's throw to 
art galleries, shops, yep. wineries, great food. Um, it's such a great, super chill day trip. Yep, 100%. So I typically do that for sure. I walk around Pike's Place Market. I just said Pike's. <gasps> oh, Pike. It's Pike. It's Pike. So pro tip. <laughs> So everybody knows of Seattle's iconic Pike Place Market. There, there is no S. If you say we're going to Pike's Place Market, you will be instantly recognized as somebody who doesn't live here. That's Pike. Let alone somebody who's lived here for 20 plus years. I mean, yes. So Pike Place Market, watch the fish getting thrown in the air. Um, it's a great time. It is. It anyway. is. And then the other thing that I love to do is drive out to the east, which is not my typical stomping ground, but there is um, a waterfall, Snoqualmie Falls, mm -hmm. and that is one of my go-to places because it's super easy to get out there. Again, takes me about 20, 30 minutes to get out there, um, and it's beautiful. And again, you do like a short little hike, you get to see the waterfalls. Um, so those are probably my two. But I also have like a quick, fast version of where I go to like, here's the Space Needle Park, take pictures. Yep. <laughs> We don't need to go up there, but you can go to Columbia Tower though, and it's half the price and a higher height. So I love Columbia Tower is another and one that I take people Columbia to. Tower is the tallest building on the West Coast. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's those are, cool. Those are my three probably favorite things that I like to do. Nice. All right, you referenced sports before. Yep. So it is interesting, just for context, two of our major sports stadiums are literally next door to each other uh -huh. in the Soto District. That's right. And I remember when I worked at Starbucks headquarters, which is a stone's throw from the football and baseball stadiums. Um, if there was a game, out, got, gotta go. <laughs> yep. Because yep. it could take so long just to get to the highway yep. from headquarters. So um, are you a sports fan? Um. Well, I, I like in-person sports is what I'd say. Okay. So I won't sit down and watch a game on TV, but if I get the opportunity to go to a live game, whether it's a Mariner game or a Seahawks game, or, you know, back in the day, the Sonics miss them. Um, but now the Kraken game, mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet, but I want to, it's on my list of things to do. Um, and the Sounders. And the Sounders, soccer. oh, of course, yes, the soccer game. So I would say for live, yes, I would definitely go. Um, and I support, because I'm from Seattle, Seahawks for life, of course. And our, uh, most people would know this by any research, but Seahawks fans are, uh, uh, they're second to none. They are. They are. I mean, maniacally devoted to their team. 100%. And, um, I applaud them for that. Um, but the stadium district is super cool. Obviously, we have lots of concerts that come to town. Yep. Um, I think Taylor Swift is coming, even though she broke the internet. Yep. Um, Sam that Smith. type of stuff. Sam Smith is coming. Sam Smith. Janet Jackson. Yeah, there you go. Got all oh, those wow. tickets. Yes. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> But we also have a really thriving community of smaller venues. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling the uh, group yesterday that I'm going to see my favorite comedian uh, at the Moore Theater oh, in, yes. in a couple of weeks. Great, yes. And it's such a historic theater. And then you've got the Paramount Theater. Mm -hmm. um, so there's really a lot of stuff to do from that standpoint as yep. well. And mm -hmm. I'm just naming a few. There's a lot more smaller yep. venues, more intimate, lots of live music, mm -hmm. uh, that type of stuff. Yep. The Crocodile, Neptune, all great for comedy shows. I love comedy shows. Perfect. So the Crocodile's great for that. That's right downtown in Belltown. Um, and then the Neptune to me has been where I discover new artists up and coming because it's a smaller venue That's where I saw Lizzo the first time. Oh, really? And it was tiny then I mean, I think less than I don't know Maybe a maybe a thousand maybe 1500 people But I had never heard of her and they were like this is gonna be great and we went and it was $30 and I can't it's it's crazy how she's blown up yeah. But a lot of the up-and-coming artists always start out in the Seattle area. So it's pretty cool. That is cool. And we have a long history of, right, we, you know, yeah. Nirvana, yep. Heart. <laughs> I'm really mm -hmm. dating myself with Heart reference. <laughs> Macklemore, uh, right Macklemore, now. right? Right now. Right? So uh, <laughs> even, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Baby Got Back. Sir Mix-a-Lot. That's right. He's from That's here. That's right. Diggable Planets. Now, now I'm dating myself. <laughs> yes. That's old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But lots to do yep. is, a, is the, the, the theme there. Um, speaking of, there's also, like, we, are, we have a... Um, a uh, climate of just activism yep. in the city, right? Yep. So if you think about a pride parade yep. or the solstice parade, well, you will see butt naked people you riding will. bikes. You sure will. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we moved here, we were looking at the news and like, what is happening? <laughs> there 
are naked people. It's a thing. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And then Bumper Shoot. Bumper Shoot. Tell me about this that. Year. So Bumper Shoot is coming back. It's a music festival. And um, the, it ranges from up and coming to the, you know, massive, you know, um, performers right now. So you'll find, uh, I, I don't know who's on the, 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 um, the, what do you call the it? roster. Yes, I don't know who's on the roster this year, but I do know this is the first time after three years after the pandemic that they're coming back. So excited to go check out because again, where you find like new artists, they come mm -hmm. through Bumber Shoot. And there's all, and I don't, where does that take place in the city? That's at Seattle Center. So Seattle Center is where the Space Needle is. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of lawns. There's a Chihuly Garden there, oh, yeah. which is glass. Mm -hmm. um, there's just, it's a really cool area. It's not just the Space Needle. Mm -hmm. So um, lots of events take down there. Like when you go on the Pride Parade, you go all the way downtown and it ends up down there and it's a big party. Yep. So well, we've um, done that lots together. Of, yes, we have. What's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite thing about this neighborhood? So I would say the my favorite thing is how central it is. I feel like I can get anywhere within 20 minutes. Okay. So I can get to the east side within 20 minutes. I can get to work. I can get pretty much anywhere around the city within 20 minutes with no traffic, that is. Yep. And at worst, probably 30 minutes. So um, just the the centralization of where I am and also just the diversity in restaurants like I love restaurants I love eating out um, and there's just so many different restaurants from different countries different you know so yeah that's basically it is like I, I feel like I can get anywhere within 20 minutes so. all right and I'm gonna brag on you so she's gonna cook for me after we're done <laughs> shooting so we, we, we there's a goal here <laughs> um, but and I'll cut this out if she wants me to but she was on one of those cooking competitions <laughs> And it was Gordon Ramsay, right? Mm -hmm. You got to go before him. I did. So I did. when she gives a restaurant recommendation, listen, <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. So having said that, mm -hmm. what what's your favorite restaurant around here? Oh gosh, that is really that's a really hard question. You're for polarizing. Me. Yeah, it is. It's really hard. Um, there is a fairly new restaurant that is only a few blocks away um, called Boteca, a Brazilian mm. um, grill, and that is delicious. So good. Uh, there's also a new Ethiopian restaurant that just opened, um, and then there's also just a bunch of like casual dining, all American food. If you mm -hmm. just want a burger, if you want you know, um, Italian food. There just is so much within a small radius. And I can't say enough about the Thai food in the neighborhood. There are so many Thai restaurants also uh, within either delivery or a 10 minute drive. Ooh, ooh, wait, ooh, ooh. but wait, Breaking but news. wait, but wait. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Wait, there's Heaven Set Chicken, which is delicious. That is only about three minutes from my house. And I'm there altogether too much and it's uh, by the owner who started Ezel's. So one of my favorite places in the neighborhood too okay. is Ezel's so Chicken. So we'll include some of the uh, information on those restaurants and those recommendation um, in the description below but also in a, in a few uh, moments as well. Um, so that's awesome. I love having that neighborhood. You didn't mention like Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Applebee's? Nothing, nothing against nothing Applebee's. Wrong with, nothing's wrong with it. Nothing. No. There's anything wrong but <laughs> we, I think that's one thing about Seattle that I've noticed. We love that local, even if it's a local chain, mm -hmm. we love uh, just patronizing those types of establishments, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, um, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the best things about this town. I, uh -huh. You know, I was reading online that, you know, we are one of the top foodie cities. Um, and in matter of fact, I'm going to call out another friend of mine. I don't know if you ever met her, mm -hmm. but we met at Starbucks as well. Her name is Kathy. And do you remember Kathy? I do not. Probably not. But mm -hmm. she started her own cooking blog. Oh. And now this is her retirement income That's with awesome. her daughter, right? And she is like, she's one of these foodie people. And, you know, there's so many things that, you know, she's discovered from Seattle, mm -hmm. right? And brought it to her blog. Mm -hmm. So um, I will put the links in that because I am a super fan of her. It's laughingspatula.com. Oh, I love that. Super. Wait, I actually have heard of that. I've, I've okay, told you okay, that. yeah, okay. All right, so rapid fire questions <laughs> okay, for you. Okay, yeah. All right, we talked about Pike Place versus Pike's Place. <laughs> Again, Pike <laughs> Place, singular. Pike. It's Pike, it's Pike. And that is home to the original Starbucks. It is, right? it is, what, yep. I guess we would call Mecca. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's cool. Definitely check it out. It is an amazing experience. It's not super touristy down there, no. um, but they've got great food, great shopping, and again, the great original Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it Nordstrom or Nordstrom's? <laughs> it's Nordstrom. I told you the answer right before. <laughs> but 
My original answer was Nordstrom Rack. Okay. Right. Fair. <laughs> so, so you know, for those of you who don't know, Nordstrom yeah. is actually um, headquartered here in Seattle as well with mm -hmm. a lot of other companies, mm -hmm. whether it's Starbucks, mm -hmm. Boeing, Amazon, Amazon mm -hmm. Nordstrom, Alaska Airlines, Nintendo, Microsoft, right? I, the list, Expedia, mm -hmm. the list goes on. So mm -hmm. lots of opportunity to expand your career. Yep. And again, she's the director of recruiting at Starbucks. <laughs> this is the most connected woman on the planet. <laughs> Shami's info will be in the description below should you want to connect with her on LinkedIn or her other socials. Mm -hmm. um, okay, back to our rapid fire, okay. the weather. Love what, it. Love it. Love it. Rain or shine. I, I okay, so I, it's a two part answer. Okay, very well. The right. rain lends to the most amazing sunshine. So when yes. the when it stops raining, everything is green and beautiful totally. and lush and so for me, I'll I'll put up with a little bit of rain to get the most amazing spring and summers that we have. Yeah, it it it's all worth it when we get and right. now when does summer start? <laughs> What? What kind of question is that? Yeah. Okay, summer. So okay, summer to me. So I, what I tell people is, the best time to come to Seattle is between April and about October. Okay. Because Fair. now, it is a fifty-fifty if you go April and May. But once you hit June, typically, from June to September, mm -hmm. October, it is absolutely the most gorgeous weather here. Hundred percent. And we do get, and you know, that's the other thing. I think we were talking about what it, what surprised. You when you moved here yeah. i know what surprised me is i remember checking into my temp apartment yeah there's no air conditioning i was like what <laughs> this is oh my god what's gonna happen and that night it was in august i was closing the windows because it was chilly so that's one of the things that surprised me now okay. in the summer wouldn't you say it's nice 75 80 during the day it is it's beautiful it in is the absolutely. night it's got that christmas to it like mm -hmm. little like i can wear shorts but i'm going to be rocking a sweatshirt yep. too 100 percent. right yep. um mm -hmm. perfect nights and nice and dry mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. now we do not get, much humidity nope mm -hmm. nope but we do get those 100 degree days occasionally yeah yeah. And we just kind of hunker down. We all have our little air conditioning units around. We do. Right? We do. Um, and we just kind of power through it until those great days come back and it's not that long. Yep. Um, okay, so there's a certain mountain that's famous here, Mount Rainier. Yep. Um, so when we when it's visible, what do people say? The mountain's out! Yes! <laughs> she got one right. Buddy, the okay. mountain is out and uh -huh. it, it's visible from almost anywhere in the city. It is. And it's really cool. Um, and it's, it's just such a, a beautiful mountain. And yeah. if you're a hiker and really are brave, it's got incredible hiking down at Mount it's Rainier. It's breathtaking. Which is yes. probably about two hours south-ish of, of the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the University of Washington. How's that referred to around here? UW. UW. Not the University of Washington. It's UW. No, no, no. Um, neither of us went there. No. But that's, if you want to look like a local, call the UW. Yep. All right, the last thing. Uh-huh. I've talked about this with everybody I talk to. Okay. I've had it as a segment on my pro and cons. Talk to me about the Seattle Freeze. Oh. <laughs> okay. The, and this is unscripted, people. Uh, yeah. I yeah. don't know what she's yeah. going to say. So I would say, okay, it is a thing. It is a thing. Um, but I would say that generally speaking, Seattle people are very open and kind mm -hmm. and nice, very nice people. Um, but when you're moving to a new city, it is hard no matter what, no matter where you go to make new friends. And for me, it's been finding that community, um, you know, whether it's at work, which is probably the number one place. When I moved here, that was where I found my, my tribe, yeah. I guess. Um, but it can be hard right, to break in, especially if, you didn't, if you're not from here, if you haven't grown up here, um, it can be hard to like, you know, make new friends and things like that. But really, once you find your people and you find your tribe and, you know, whether it's through work or through hiking clubs or kayaking, I mean, there's just so many activities in Seattle that you can make friends. So I think it, it's a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> but it's also a thing you can break through and find people who, you know, you find that community with. Yeah, and I, I agree. I think, you know, we both were active in organizations within the workplace at yep. Starbucks, as an mm -hmm. example, and mm -hmm. found lifelong friends that way. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to get involved. And to your point, 
you know, too, that there's so many other organizations with Seattle. Seattle has a, a strong community of volunteerism, yep. right? So there's lots of those opportunities to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is start asking around or looking and you're gonna find the avalanche will open, you know, just oh, here's so many opportunities you'll be overwhelmed, mm -hmm. right? So um, I would say get off the couch, be persistent, and before <laughs> you know it, no more Seattle freeze. Yep. Right. 100%. So then that kind of brings us to the, well, you've hinted at it, the rivalry <laughs> between the east side and the west side. <laughs> and what we're talking about, we're not talking about a highway. Uh -huh. We're talking about the east side of Lake Washington and the west side of Lake Washington. So for context, on the west side, you've got Seattle proper, downtown, all the things. On the east side, you've got the suburbs. You've got Bellevue, Sammamish, Issaquah, Snoqualmie, uh, Redmond. Uh -huh. The list goes on and on. So. Tell, what's your perspective? <laughs> Who's gonna win? <laughs> it's always gonna be West. That's where it's all always... the best restaurants are on the West. Um, I mean, you are right in the yeah. action. Um, and you can get anywhere from downtown Seattle. Whereas mm -hmm. the East side, I mean, I think it's good for some. It depends on you as well. Okay, 100%. so I'll give it. I'll give it to. I'll give you. My brother lives on the east side. We go there. We have family. I live on the east side. <laughs> you live on the east side. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But you have to cross the bridge, and uh, sometimes the tolls are kind of high. And I think you know, <laughs> why, why not just stay on this side? <laughs> This is the side to be, West Side. <laughs> now, I am honored because Shami actually will come to my house on the I East will. Side. She I will. will have her passport ready. <laughs> she will traverse tunnels and bridges to get to my house for usually Christmas dinner. Yes. Um, but uh, but you're right. It is. It's just a totally different environment, right? Seattle can be super neighborhoody, right? Just mm -hmm. by the blocks, right? Mm -hmm. It's it may be a little bit more grungy and and just has a ton of character. Then you go to Bellevue, which has a thriving downtown. It does. It's newer. It's got you know. It's got all the things. It's got more. Um, it's more suburbia, even though it is a city in Bellevue. And there are some great restaurants. I, I will give it to them. You know, there's some great, you know, in those high rises, some wonderful mm -hmm. sushi, you know, steakhouses. I mean, there are places we've met, yes. you know, for happy yep. hours. There's a great, there's a lot of great places there. It's just that they're better ones. But here's the, <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Yes. With traffic aside, mm -hmm. the distance between the two is not that long. I mean, no. if you're in Bellevue, it's 15 minutes to Seattle, yep. right? Or vice versa. Yep. Now, traffic can be sometimes an issue. Mm -hmm. I think... It is what it is. It is. I, I think you just grin and bear it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've ever, do you ever avail yourself of the light rail or anything like that or no? Uh, so the only time that I'll do the light rail is when I'm going to a game. Um, if I'm going, if <laughs> you know, that once a year that I do go to a game, <laughs> that's the only time that I will use light rail. Um, there is light rail, Northgate Mall just opened less than a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really easy from there to get to the airport, if yep. you want an alternate to get to the airport, because the airport is kind of far from here. That is SeaTac. Um, and so that's the only time that I'll really use light rail or any public transportation. Um, other than that, no, I just drive. <laughs> yeah, but they are expanding the light rail. They are. Right? They I are. know it's coming mm -hmm. out east uh, over the lake. Yep. Um, so that's and up north too. And up north to up Everett. to like Everett. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it is, uh, we are putting that infrastructure in, so it isn't always going to be car reliant. But I right. would say, kind of closing out the east side versus west side <laughs> is on the east side, you're pretty much car reliant. Yes. Low walkability, unless 100%. you're like in downtown Bellevue or something. Mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the west side, it's super high walkability. Oh, big time. Right? Mm -hmm. um, the buses system is really uh, efficient, plus the light rail. Yep. I know when I first moved here, I was in a temporary apartment, mm -hmm. and I would just kind of walk to the, the train stop, and yep. a few stops later, I was downtown by the office. It was great. Yeah, so right. what would you do on a weekend in Seattle? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a really good question. Um, it would There would be brunch, always. Always There's brunch. got to be brunch. Uh, typical Saturday uh, is going out for brunch. And um, right now, because I just got my little puppy a few months ago, it's been discovering new parks and dog parks okay. in the area. Um, and so I specifically try to support Black-owned businesses and specifically underrepresented. So some of the great restaurants that have great brunches in the area mm -hmm. um, would be Communion um, is down in the Central District on like 23rd and Union. Um, and then there's also Jerk Shack, one of my favorites. This is a Caribbean delicious nice. uh, 
um, food there. And there are just so many more, but those are probably my top two. But you'll find me at brunch. I mean, you tell me where to go. Uh, also about 20 minutes from here is Edmonds, another neighborhood kind mm -hmm. of surrounding Seattle. And it's about one north. Of, mm -hmm. yep. And one of my favorite restaurants is called Salt and Iron. That's um, on in Edmonds. So good. Like everything, every bite. You're just like, what is this? So, so good. So. So you mentioned black owned businesses. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Let's get real for a second, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the census data, mm -hmm. right? I think African-Americans make up, a, I think it's 16% of the population if memory serves. So if, if a person of color is watching this video, mm -hmm. what would you, what message would you send to them? What would you say to them about moving to Seattle as a person of color? Oh, that is a really good question. You know, I would say um, that finding your, again, going back to community, mm -hmm. um, there are lots of, you know, great organizations. You know, there's a Jack and Jill, um, which my nephews are in and my sister-in-law is really involved in, which is around just bringing up, um, you know, solid African-American kids. That feels wrong, but we'll figure this out. But anyway, <laughs> but it's a great Jack and Jill organization um, and just finding the right, again, you know, uh, community. Um, Within Seattle itself, I will say it is is extremely white. If you say the Seattle demographic mm -hmm. specifically, it's probably more like three to five percent. Um, but the further out you go, you tend to find more um, more diversity. So whether you're, I was actually just down in Tacoma, which is south of Seattle, this weekend, and um, was just loving the vibrancy of these uh, restaurants and you know i talk a lot about restaurants apparently but you know it's my favorite thing to do um but you know there's just more a bit more diversity as you as you spread out a little bit more so yeah and i feel like the city genuinely embraces the diversity i do too right yes, i think 100%. It's, it's like a big bear hug of let's just embrace people's differences yep Yep. So uh, I felt that way. Mm -hmm. um, I know you have. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another pro on the list of pros and cons of Seattle. Yep. Um, even though the demographics may not always show it. Right. People, even if you are in the, the small minority, you're still welcome here. Is 100%. that fair to say? 100%. Yep. <laughs> so again, so thankful to you for doing this. This was so, so much fun. fun. Yeah. Uh, half hour has flown by. Yeah. Um, and again, so excited for you in your new role. Thank you. But do you want to do a shameless plug for our audience? Uh, why, yes. Starbucks is hiring. If you're looking for a role with an amazing company that um, values our mission and values, that is all around community, giving back, um, volunteer. One of the reasons I joined Starbucks, um, we are hiring. Go to starbucks.com slash careers. See you there. <laughs> awesome. I mean, it is. It is. Um, it, it's what moved me here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was such a great experience. Um, probably wondering why I'm not there anymore. I wanted to get out of corporate America and go sell real estate. I wanted to do something different. So, but I do value my time there at Starbucks and look, look just so fondly back on the memories. And obviously our friendships continue. So, um, but again, one thing I love most is helping people, and I know you do too, right? So if I can help you find a house, I'm happy to do that. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, even set up a Zoom call. Would be happy to get to know you better and help you make a smooth move to Seattle. So until next time, be safe and have a good one. That was awesome! <laughs>